We're going to turn to Brazil right now to uh, reconnect with one of the biggest stories of last year, the fires in the Amazon rainforest, because new official figures show the situation is getting worse and that this July has had more fires than last July did. These satellite images from Brazil's National Space Agency show there were over 6,800 fires in the Amazon region last month. That's an increase of 28% on 2019. And bear in mind, last year was up on the years before. Well, this matters for a whole range of reasons, not least because the Amazon's the largest rainforest in the world, and it acts as a massive carbon store, which slows up global warming. Well, let's bring in the BBC South America correspondent, Katie Watson, who's with us from Sao Paulo. Um, Katie, help us understand the different factors that are driving the increase in the number of fires. Well, I mean, COVID-19, of course, is a, a big concern. There have been fewer boots on the ground in terms of um, uh, checking about illegal logging, illegal mining. A lot of people have obviously had to stay back because of the pandemic. So that's one issue of concern. Um, I mean, uh, the issue we're seeing is that what well, the concern is, is that August. August was the, the peak last year, and we're already seeing highs this year in July. So now... Um, in the month of August. That's one of the, the, the huge concerns. And of course, you've got Jair Bolsonaro, a president who has, um, for, you know, since he came to power, insisted that the Amazon could be uh, a source of income, that it needs to be developed, that it's not just about conservation. And that's, of course, become much more political, especially uh, with the pandemic. And I remember back in August when the G7 summit in France put together a package of help for Brazil and President Bolsonaro didn't seem particularly keen on accepting that help from the G7. But has Brazil been getting outside assistance in taking on these fires? Well, Brazil itself has actually uh, put in, implemented some. So last year, there was a huge, there was outrage over, um, over the fires and there was a, a ban that was put in place, a 120-day ban that has been put in place to this year as well. But it doesn't seem to have made any difference. And um, Jair Bolsonaro has, um, there's been a military deployment from May to November and it looks, again, it doesn't seem like there's, you know, anything ha has changed, anything has improved. And that's the concern, you know, Bolsonaro likes to do things his way um, and certainly the, um, the, 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 this talk of wanting to develop the Amazon has not stopped and that is the concern especially with people uh, with the pandemic with fewer boots on the ground, fewer um, checks and balances and regulations that this situation is just going to get worse this coming month. And last summer this was a huge global story. I'm assuming that in Brazil and elsewhere in South America it's just not getting the same attention as it did last year because of Covid. Well, I think there's a, there's a huge concern here in Brazil, and especially because the, the COVID-19 is now heading inland. Uh, the, the, the virus kind of started in big cities like here in Sao Paulo, and it's now spreading into smaller areas, some smaller cities with, with um, less comprehensive healthcare systems, and of course, more remote areas. And we're seeing more and more um, news that, you know, in, in big indigenous leaders have had to go into hospital. They're at vulnerable communities, um, you know, at, at the best of times. And that's the big concern, especially with illegal logging, where people People are going in, getting access to communities that have had to try and close themselves off because they're concerned about the virus spreading uh, and that kind of the, the illegal nature of, of logging and mining often in these areas. And, and that is certainly a, a concern. But of course, um, you know, the, the images coming out and the pandemic at the same time. Brazil has lots of fires to fight as such, you know, terrible mm. <laughs> analogy, but that is the concern. You've got the pandemic, you've got a political crisis and you've got the fires that, you know, it's fire season. All of these things combined to being, you know, big concern here in Brazil.